So guys, welcome to this new small, very, very small session. I'm currently starting to work with Unreal Engine 5 as it was released this week. And I wanted to know if I can get ALS working with the new mannequin. Mm, and it works quite fine already. Except the run pause. This is something messed up. I don't know yet why. Maybe I've set the wrong base pose, which we will also cover in a few minutes what it is. And if I press the, I think it is the wiki, normally then we can just walk around. And here you can see, yep, Mantling already starts working. What does not work yet is the full IK system. And I don't know why, if I press the T key, normally you will see here on the feed that there are some traces and it should trigger the IK system. So it kind of does not work yet. I'm still trying to find out why, but we can use the debug shapes like this. So it works quite fine. Then you have there your arrows to yeah, see if ALS is working. We can use the slow motion key to see if we have any foot sliding. Like here, if you run forward, kind of foot sliding. I think the base poses are not correct. But except that, it seems to work fine. And let me let me press the V key again. If you press the C key, you can change the looking direction like usual. Mm. And what is also interesting, the overlay states. Most of the time they are messed up. And here we have the same issue. I'm not sure yet if the proportions are different from this new mannequin. So that's why the placement of the weapon is not correct or if it is an issue with the IK system in combination with the virtual bones. I'm still working here. I started yesterday migrating the system to this new mannequin and I wanted to find out how we can do it. Retargeting is very easy. If you use the new tools and the new settings, I can show them you immediately, but I will not trigger the process. I will do a tutorial once I know how everything works. So here we have the stock uh, advanced locomotion system blueprint version and we go to character assets, mannequin and here's the animation blueprint and normally we say retarget animation assets and then we go to duplicate and retarget animation blueprint and there we have this IK retargeter feature which is quite handy. And we can just select this. Epic already set this up for us. Then we can set a prefix, a folder, and then we click on retarget and you have the new animations. And then you might see some issues with the rolling and mantling. You need to take care about the montages as well and retarget them as well. So it's very easy. Just select them all, right click and do the same process here. As I said, I will not do it here because I want to cover a full tutorial with the steps and show you how you can get it working. Um, and then what I did is quite easily and it's very convenient. If we go to my folder, this one, there we have the game mode, which is set for this level here and also this default pawn class. And here we can open it up and then you can search for mantle, for example. If I type it correctly, you will see what I mean. Metal. Then you can set the montages or roll. Then you can set them as well. So maybe you are faster than me and get it working before me. Then please share it. How you did it. If you know, sharing is caring. And yeah, let's see. Let's see if rolling works already in this state. So. If I press the middle mouse button, I change it a little bit because I really hate those default ALS um, configuration. You have to press the Alt key twice and then it rolls, but I have to only press the middle mouse key. As you see, the issue with rolling is the following, that it kind of does not do the root animation. I don't know yet why. Normally it should roll forward if you do this. And as you have seen, crouching works as well. You can also use the 10 play system here, should work as expected. And also mantling is also a montage, this works as well. So here we have different ones, so if you have more a higher object works as well, jumping works. And what is interesting is this one, 
So here Manda, again, yeah, you see it also clips with the hands, maybe it really has some different proportions now. And this one is really interesting. I don't know what happens here, but yeah, it flies away. I need to find out what is, what is going on here. But everything like that, it's working quite fine. And if we go to the FPS, you see I have 120 FPS. I think it's not using Lumen here. I disabled it because I don't know, I don't own yet a new graphics card still waiting it still waiting for it and hopefully it will arrive soon because i want to use your lumen and yeah to be honest i really like those new prototyping materials here we have physics enabled it should be chaos yeah normally i would shoot at those boxes but the shooting system is not migrated to this project yet still experimenting with stuff and if we talk a little bit about shooting look at the overlay states normally it should work quite fine but somehow i don't know yet why the hand placements are incorrect or the weapon placement maybe i have messed something up with the virtual bonds or the hand decay system does not work as well there i'm trying to find a solution and once i found a solution for that i might know what the steps are to get it working with this new mannequin so here hand position seems to be fine but uh, pistol placement is wrong also slightly rotated to the side which normally is not so yeah it's it's a bit confusing and yeah the main issue i had was this one <laughs> when i started working so look at this screenshot so where is it let me open this one <laughs> so yeah i said why what's happening here <laughs> And I was totally amazed about this cool creature statue. I don't know how should I call it. Yeah, and the main issue is, I don't know why yet, but it seems to be it's in bug in Unreal Engine 5. It does not set the, the additive animation stuff. So if I go to the retargeted animation folder, it's this one here and open one animation and we search for sweep, then we find these animations here and you go to the additive section and here you need to select the base post type and somehow this was empty during uh, after retargeting those animations and yeah but what is fixed in Unreal Engine 5 is the curve stuff so let me check if we can find the curve yep this one normally these curves are converted to rectangle curves and we had an issue with this one as well doing a game jam very painful then you have to set everything from scratch and yeah this is not fun so there we have custom tooling for Unreal Engine 4 but in Unreal Engine 5 it's obsolete so we can save some maintenance effort on our side but the issue with those additive animation stuff is very weird <laughs> so yeah I don't know why what is happening here and for the overlay states, what I did wrong at the first place is you need to set the no curves, no curves poses here and then select the correct frame. So if you have an issue like this one here, let me share the screenshot as well, what we had before. So you will now feel some pain. <laughs> Because this is th this looks really weird, so yeah, it's completely messed up. And also this one here. So let me see if I can find something more. This is also interesting. So yeah, you might now get some, yeah, get the picture of it and feel the pain. I really feel the pain. So yeah, if you do it in this in real, uh, everything is broken. <laughs> so yeah, let me close these ones here. And yeah so everything seems to work even fps stuff is quite fine so yeah let me know what you think about the new mannequin in the comments below and hopefully i will figure out these issues and can tell you how you can retarget everything from als to this new mannequin and start using it and yep this, there's also the female, it's also quite a nice character, so if you go to content, 
and I think it's called characters, mannequins, meshes, and there's Quinn. So I think if she is correctly set up, we can use her as well with ALS. So it might take some time to loading. Mm, why does it take so long? So here it is. So then we have two characters, like an old one. Hopefully the IK bones are correctly set up. Uh, seems not to be the case. Uh, maybe, I don't know if they would work. Needs to be checked. So yeah, virtual bones are there. There we also have a custom tooling and also the sockets, which we will cover in the tutorial how we do it. And that's all I wanted to share today. See you in the next step vlog.